today's video, we're showing you a simple recipe to make your own air dry clay. It only has a couple of ingredients. You can easily change the colors using food coloring, and you can sand it and paint it beautifully. To get started, of course, we'll need a bag of baking soda and some cornstarch. Here's the basic idea. You cook baking soda, cornstarch, and water on the stove for a few minutes, and it turns into a soft clay. That clay can be dyed with food coloring and shaped into whatever you want. Let it sit out for a couple days and it will dry completely hard. Let's start out with one half of a cup of cornstarch. After half a cup of cornstarch, we need one full cup of baking soda. Now to finish this off, we need three quarters cups of cold water. Now without putting it on the stove yet, stir this all together until it's one smooth consistency. I think we've probably all seen what happens when we mix water with cornstarch, and so it's gonna be a little lumpy at first. After your mixture is all smooth, it's time to throw it on the stove at medium heat. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. After a few minutes of stirring, your mixture will get to something that looks almost completely indistinguishable from mashed potatoes. Transfer it to a heat safe surface to let it cool down. While you're letting it cool down, cover it with a wet paper towel. This clay dries out and that makes it get hard and unworkable. And you don't want it to dry out before you get a chance to sculpt it. After our clay has cooled off, we now have something that can easily be sculpted, molded, shaped, and colored really does look a lot like mashed potatoes. It doesn't smell like mashed potatoes, of course. Mostly, it smells like the cornstarch. It doesn't have as much of the baking soda smell. I think cornstarch just has a stronger smell in general. It's non-toxic. It's not gonna do anything to you. It's just baking soda and cornstarch, but it's bad. Let's try adding a little bit of color to some of our clay. Just do one drop of yellow. Go. I'm really just gonna run with that mashed potatoes look. A nice little pat of butter. Just gently mixing a couple of colors together can give you a cool marbled effect. If you're trying to make larger pieces out of clay, it can crack a little bit as it dries if it's too thick. So I recommend using some foil as a base shape and then sculpting the clay around that. Let's see if we can't use this clay to try and make a casting. It's been a few days and our baking soda cornstarch clay has had time to dry. So let's see how things turned out. Our Lego brick molded fairly well, but it did curve a little bit as it was curing. So I'm not sure if we'd be able to get that to clip onto a real Lego brick or not. Let's give it a test. That's uh, slightly attached right there. The curve, I think, is gonna make it have a harder time attaching to an entire brick. This clay does shrink a tiny bit as it dries, so it's not quite the same shape as it was before. It has some grip though. It's kind of like knockoff brand Lego. It's just not as good, doesn't fit quite as well. Let's see how R2-D2 is doing. Ooh, R2 turned out great. 
This silicone mold is meant for making R2-D2 shaped ice cubes. But we've made a nice little plastic-like figure instead. Picked up some really good details in there as well. Again, these are molds designed for making ice cubes. These ones are, of course, shaped like little Lego figures. And again, did a good job getting the details. It's a, it's a pretty good casting right there. Tool holder for my individual drill bits. Let's try sanding this clay and see how well that works. It sands really nicely. Very smooth grain, takes it down pretty fast. That gets pretty nice and smooth, so sandpaper does a very good job with this. Now this piece I actually just made to do a strength test, so I'm gonna see how easily I can break this. Ugh. It's harder than a cookie. Uh, I would say that it's decently hard to snap. Something like this would, I'd say you can count on that to be durable unless you're deliberately trying to break it. Even dropping it a little bit, don't really have to worry too much about it. It's not super fragile. One final test, let's see how well this stuff takes paint. We're gonna hit it with a layer of spray paint and see if it takes the color nicely. I would say that the paint worked pretty well. I only did a couple of layers of it and it's nice and covered. It really does a good job of going on top of the color of clay you already have. If it's already starting with white, I'm sure you can get even better coverage than if you're trying to go over a contrasting color. Baking soda, cornstarch, and water, it's easy to make. It only takes a few minutes. You can add colors with food coloring. You can add colors with paint. It's pretty durable. It sands really well. You can make decorative pieces. You can make useful pieces. This stuff is pretty neat all around. Guys, the fun doesn't have to end. That box up at the top will transport you directly to our last video and you should go check that out. The box at the bottom will show you what YouTube thinks you need to be watching next and this bomb in the middle will subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on a video. Don't forget to ring that bell and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.